What a beautiful day out here to be at the sawmill. If you look in the distance there, you can see Pike's Peak. What an excellent place for a sawmill. <laughs> Hello, this is Chris Pine. I'm out here today with Scott Schaefer from Wilfer Sawmill, and we're out at his log yard today. I'm going to be purchasing a walnut log from him, and we're going to mill it up today. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I've never uh, done it this way before, uh, especially getting some really good walnut. So I just wanted to ask him to just give us a little background on what he does and uh, where he gets his lumber or the logs and so forth and if you do that Scott it'd be great. Yeah, uh, so most of my logs come from the Denver metro area. They're all rescued from the city so they're urban hardwoods. Most of them are hardwoods. I get some cottonwoods and some pines too. Um, this walnut that we're cutting up for you actually came out of Canyon City. A lot of people are familiar with Canyon City. That's where the big federal prison is. Yes. So um, that's just where I'm getting walnut right now. Uh, but again it was all reclaimed from from urban settings. So instead of going to the chipper or the log pile or the dump, it's coming here and we're making something out of it. Awesome, awesome. So so, so you have your sawmill here. Uh, tell us a little bit about what else you do. Do you use a, a chainsaw mill as well, I understand? Yeah, we got a chainsaw mill for the really big stuff, uh, for big slabs. And uh, everything's mobile too. So if somebody has uh, something in their backyard, we can take the chainsaw mill back there and cut it up. It's a lot easier to haul out slabs than it is to haul out a big log. Um, or if somebody has a property with a lot of trees, um, we can take this mill there and, and set up. I also do pickup service if somebody has log that's accessible and not worth the four hour minimum to come to them, I can just come pick it up, bring it here. So, And I, I kind of lied at the beginning. I actually have bought wood from Scott, but I've never been out to his uh, Yeah, his this is the first time I've come out here. So. But I do have lumber still that's stacked at home drying, so uh, it's good stuff, uh, very reasonable price. So if you have a a way to do this locally, I suggest you do it. It's a really good way to support local business and to to get a good deal. So, uh, anything else you want to tell us about? We'll just get started. I think we should just get started. All right, now. let's just do this. What are we cutting today out of it? Well, I thought we'd do some at six quarter and some at eight quarter. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. Maybe two of the biggest pieces. I don't know. Eight quarter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, does that sound good? Yeah. All right.
Could be. I mean, it seems like everybody does. Yeah. We Very were just talking to people. Yeah. This would come from Canyon City, which is where the federal prison is for <laughs> all these famous inmates. But so this is what it looks like. I think it looks awesome. Some of it's got that. It's already starting to, as it dries here. Yeah. Not be so green, but it was real green in these areas. 